We already know that friction is the force that opposes motion of one surface moving over another. We know that friction depends on one, the kind of material of the surfaces in contact. Two, the nature of surfaces in contact. And three, the weight of the body moving on a surface. You may be wondering how friction is dependent on the type of motion of the object sliding or rolling over the surface. Let us try to understand it. We use suitcases and other pieces of luggage fitted with rollers or wheels in our daily life. It is far easier to move them from one place to another by pulling them than sliding a suitcase without rollers or wheels. Why? What makes it so easy? Let us perform an activity. Take a book, place it on a table, and push it. You will observe that it slides and soon stops. Now, take a few cylindrical-shaped pencils. Place them parallel to each other on a table. Place a book on them. Now push the book. You can see the pencils rolling as the book moves. Which method requires less effort to move the book, sliding or rolling? You can observe that the book moves easily by rolling over the pencils. To understand this, Consider a luggage with jammed rollers being dragged by a person. Here the moving surfaces are directly rubbing against each other. The surface irregularities of the rollers and that of the floor are interlocked to a great extent. A force is required to overcome these interlocking irregularities or friction. This friction is called the sliding friction offering resistance to the motion of the luggage. When one body slides over another, the opposing force offered to the body is called sliding or dynamic friction. Now, consider luggage with freely rotating rollers. When at rest, the surface irregularities of the rollers and that of the floor are interlocked. But when the luggage is dragged, the rollers start to rotate. The rotation of the rollers prevents the direct rubbing of the roller surface against the floor Hence, the friction is much less in this case as compared to that in the case of sliding. This friction is called rolling friction. When one body rolls over the surface of another, the resistance to its motion is called the rolling friction. As the rolling friction is much smaller than the sliding friction, in most of the machines, sliding is replaced by rolling with the help of ball bearings. Common examples are fans, motors, etc. You may have seen a heavy object being moved by placing logs under it. Now we are in a position to understand why the invention of the wheel is considered as revolution in the progress of mankind.